Oh, hi, Darren. Another pleasing win at the weekend uh, against the Raw. Yeah, very pleasing performance uh, against a, a good side. You know, they, they had some really quality players on show, but by and large, I think uh, I think we we controlled vast uh, portions of the game, which is very very pleasing. Another four goals uh, scored as well. That, that keeps the average up. It's, it's, that's probably quite outstanding, to be honest. Yeah, as long as we're um, you know scoring those goals, we're always uh, you know a threat. Um, because certainly teams, when they come up against us, they know that we've got the capacity to to score goals um, when we need to. Uh, but again, also very pleasing the fact that they didn't score against us. We didn't concede again, which is. Uh, uh, you know, I don't think we're entirely at that 90 minutes performance yet, complete performance, but we're, uh, we're on our way. Gold Coast United coming up this weekend, uh, trip away. Can always be a little bit of a tricky one at times. Uh, how, how are you looking at that one so far? Uh, yeah, exactly. It's always tricky going, going there. Um, I think last year we had the benefit of a, uh, a mini cyclone came in, uh, in you know, behind us and got us over the line last, uh, last game. So... And the one before that, I think, was a four-all draw. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a difficult uh, challenge for us, but uh, one we'll be ready for. Obviously, Ethan did uh, cop quite a knock, uh, a little bit of friendly fire there. How is, how is he travelling after that one? Uh, he's fine. He, um, you know, he's a bit of a, a warrior like that. So we certainly encouraged him to go and get it checked out, but uh, he's uh, backing his own you know, recovery, his body to recover. He knows his body well enough, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, he's got a bit of a scar there. Um, but, you know, he was coming off, but we just kept him on for that last corner. Um, but, uh, you know, that's football, I suppose. You've got, obviously, Alex in, in rich form at the moment. Uh, probably a little bit hard to sort of look past how he's going at the moment, you would say. Yeah, you know, we were talking earlier, and, um, you know, the goals that he scored on the weekend were certainly goals are you know taken from someone who's in a bit of form you know he looked really really composed for the first one uh the second one was a quality finish a difficult ball that came in and a uh, it bounced just before him and you know he rifled it into the the roof of the net and that's just that's a, a player who's seeing the ball well and, and and backing himself so you know we're we're really enjoying the fact that he's enjoying his football as well um but you know it's the rest of the boys that have got to get the ball to him. You know, the quality of delivery from Jacko and the third one and, you know, Zach's through ball was superb. Um, you know, so there's a lot of work that's got to go before Alex can, uh, can, can put the ball in the back of the net and uh, the boys are uh, certainly helping him out for sure. I was going to touch on that. That was a fantastic ball from Zach. Yeah, just got himself in space, looked up, pinpoint ball mm. forward. Is that something you work on much there? I know obviously you can be quite direct, but sometimes that direct approach obviously pays dividends. Oh, for sure. You know, we're, we're <laughs> you know, we, we certainly have a playing style. We like to, to build up and keep the, keep the ball and, and create chances that way. But, um, you know, we're just there to give the boys some options at training. That's the way I see it. Um, this is the way we want to play. Here are some options. But ultimately, it's up to them to go out and make the decisions on the day. And, um, you know, we, we certainly touch on if you've got time and space and you can see someone ahead of the ball, knock the most dangerous ball. And I'm glad Zach made that decision. It was a great decision, uh, putting uh, Alex in that, you know, one-on-one -on -one situation. So, for sure, we're, we're just looking to try and uh, exploit our strengths. And if that means being a little bit direct, then, then so be it. I know obviously you don't necessarily look too far at other results, but certainly the East result was against Gold Coast Knights was probably a, a short one for everybody. Mm. Well, you know, any team on their day is, is certainly going to be a handful, and that's that's our approach every game this season. You know, there's you know, there's no there's no easy beats in this league, so uh, I'm not surprised that certainly at that time of the year now where you know. Uh, teams are uh, sorting themselves out, uh, so there's still a lot to be put, you know, play for. Um, so, yeah, it's nice that um, that other teams um, are out there and and putting everything in, um, because ultimately, if you're a team and you switch off, 
against anyone for half an hour. You saw it against us in the first game of the season. You know, you, t you switch off for a, a little bit, then, you know, games are there to be lost. So, uh, you know, we just focus on ourselves, but absolutely, we're always looking at, you know, how things are panning out around the grounds. Well, obviously, best of luck for the game coming up against Gold Coast. Uh, you know, it will be a tricky one, but no doubt, hopefully get another, another few goals on the board. Hopefully, that's the plan. Cheers, Dan. Thanks, Eddie.